Okay, hello, just wanted to let you know that there are a few corrections in this upload of the video. I had previously uploaded this video yesterday and I was notified that there was some errors in the stuff that I had posted. <gasps> so, um, the, the information regarding the AEM or the Aerospace Education Member has been corrected in that section. So, um, let, let's let's continue on with, with the video. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the different types of senior membership other than the ones that I had previously talked about. So I had talked about being a senior member just like as an active senior member. There's also patron and retired as, as in terms of being defined as a, a member in that capacity. And then there's also cadet sponsor member where you have to be a parent, guardian, or someone who is a caretaker of a cadet within Civil Air Patrol and can serve as kind of like a chaperone capacity. There are additional types of membership. There's there's a, like a list of, I think it's like 11 other forms of membership. And I'm gonna be talking about each of these uh, in in a little bit of depth, but not too much, just to summarize, like there are additional ways that people can be members. So there is the aerospace education membership where if you are some kind of instructor or you have like educational background within aerospace education, then you can become an aerospace education member. The AEM is a member of Civil Air Patrol that is used to inspire like overall education and training of STEM. They are not required to attend meetings, they are not required to wear a uniform, and they have access to STEM related materials from national headquarters. They have to pay a $35 one-time fee in order to join and they can retain that status for as long as they want, but if they want to become a full member of Civil Air Patrol, they have to lose the a AEM or the a Aerospace Education member specifier type and just have to, they have to fully join, lose their AEM status. Additionally, AEMs do not require the Civil Air Patrol background check. It's based off of their employer's background check and if if the employer actually wants them to have some kind of check. They are not subject to the cadet protection program within Civil Air Patrol. So um, be, be, that's because they are an AEM and not a full member. Another type of membership is affiliate membership which is basically people who are financially supporting Civil Air Patrol and there are limited benefits with this but it is um, not, well, you are not required to attend meetings regularly as this affiliate member. So the next one is congressional membership. And this, this is an important one because all of CAP's funds come through the Air Force. And there is a portion of funding that Congress specifically sets aside for Civil Air Patrol. And normally this is like, uh, like three million, four million dollars sometimes. It depends on the year, but most of that goes towards flying missions. And through being given that support through Congress, we can also offer them some benefits of being members. So they are automatically given a promotion to, I believe it's Lieutenant Colonel by being members of Congress. And they, they can participate in O-Rides and they they can like attend meetings if they want to. And there are specific grades like milestone achievements where they can present the awards as a, a congressional member. There's also the state legislative membership, which is like the congressional level, except it's on a state by state basis. So there's typically a legislative unit within all of the wings. Next, there is the 50 year membership, which if you have been a member of Civil Air Patrol for over 50 years or at 50 years, you can send in a letter and say that you have been in for 50 years and once approved, the member is no longer required to submit dues on a yearly basis and they have full privileges of what a member, or like an active, senior member would have. 
There are also life members. So the board of governors can decide if like a specific member who has like fantastic, outstanding contributions to Civil Air Patrol can receive that lifetime membership. There's also business membership, which is typically provided to those businesses and organizations who are partners of the Civil Air Patrol. So if you look at the National Conference, there are quite a few businesses that supported the National Conference this past year, right? And quite a few of those are business members of Civil Air Patrol. And then there's finally the honorary membership, which is what a wing commander could bestow upon someone who has outstanding contributions to the community and just, it's, it's more of a, a term of reference as opposed to an actual category of membership because they, they could officially sign up, but they don't have any official bearing over Civil Air Patrol or its members as like an honorary member. That pretty much summarizes all the different types of membership within Civil Air Patrol. So just as a reminder, you can sign up to be a cadet sponsor member, but you have to be related or like the parent or guardian of someone who is a cadet in the Civil Air Patrol. So if you are like an uncle, yeah, you might be able to swing it, but I think if your, your kids are doing it, then you'd be able to get involved as a cadet sponsor member. I personally just recommend becoming a full member because if you are looking to do the different specialty tracks, you might as well just join and get that experience and potentially get that time in a duty position to be able to finish your technician rating later on when you have been in for quite some time, like maybe six months or a year. So that's just something that I recommend, but if no matter how you join, no matter how you hear about Civil Air Patrol, there's typically something for you and there are quite a few different specialty tracks and if you want to learn about specialty tracks feel free to check out the video in the iCard. I, I have discussed specialty tracks and went over most of them in pretty good depth. So if you have any questions for me about the different types of membership or if you're interested in joining Civil Air Patrol please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to chat a little bit more with you and that is all folks. Until next time. Toodles!